Hello, my beautiful souls. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. There is a storm out on the ocean, and it's moving this way. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. But if your soul, if your mind is not anchored in Jesus, you will surely, surely, surely slip away. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Good, good afternoon. Good morning. What time is it? I don't know, my beautiful souls. I miss you. I love you. I want you to just continue to trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. Acknowledge him and he will and he shall and he must direct your paths. My beautiful souls, welcome, welcome, welcome to the healing house where there is healing for your mind, your body, and your soul. My name is Betty Riddick. I am your healing minister. I love you. I need you. I want to thank you for supporting me with the healing house where there's healing for your mind, your body, and your soul. I offer hope in a dark world, and we are living in a dark world right now, my beautiful souls, and I, I, I really don't want to be consumed with that. I want to get back to your most precious commodity, which is your mind, and I know we are going through some trying times, and I want to tell you that we are all going through some trying times, and you know, I, I, I really want to get away from the race card because it truly is all about the human race. Too much is going on, my beautiful souls, but I, your healing minister, Betty Riddick, I offer hope in a dark world where people believe they can't be delivered from stress, depression, and anxiety like I was back in 1994. My beautiful souls, I'm not here to impress you, just simply to impress upon you that you too can be delivered from stress, depression, and anxiety like I was back in 1994. Why? It's possible with power thoughts renewing the mind. Hallelujah, Lord. You all, I, I was in my head a long time this morning. I like to do my meditation, um, relax and reflecting and releasing and releasing and releasing. And, 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 and I don't know, some of you, you may not know my story, but I am delivered from stress, depression and anxiety. Back in 1994, I was just as sick as I could be. I had, I had, I had been in a mental hospital four times. I didn't know whose I was. I didn't know who I was. I was just lost. I didn't know what day it was. I didn't know what time it was. I was just lost. I was in a dark moment. I was in a dark mind. And my beautiful souls, one thing I want to ask you is, is your mind anchored in Jesus during this time? And let me tell you, my beautiful souls, I know and I understand there is a lot going on. There truly is a lot going on during this time. I was, I was talking to my neighbor the other day when I was, um, cutting grass, you know, getting, taking care of me mentally, physically, and spiritually. And, um, you know, I don't do things just to be bragging that I help someone out because if I can help you, I'm going to help you. But however, um, my neighbor was mowing her lawn one day and one evening, cause I cut my lawn in the evening. And while she was mowing her lawn, I heard a big bang. Right. And I said, Oh my God, she hit something. And um, she had hit something and bent the blade on her um, lawnmower. So um, it was my pleasure to go on ahead and, you know, cut her grass. And we got to talking and and I said to her, I said, you know, I said, doesn't it feel very overwhelming right now what we're all going through? It's overwhelming right now. And she said, yes. And one thing I want you all to remember is that God is not an author of confusion. OK, our God is not an author of confusion. And as we were talking, you know, I was reminding her and we were reminding each other that God still sits on the throne. All dominion, power, rule and authority comes from on high. And this is why I ask you the question, is your mind anchored in Jesus? Because in the midst of all of this, my beautiful souls, in the midst of all of this, please like and share. In the midst of all of this, you have to keep your mind anchored in Jesus. He is the source. Jesus is the source at this time. Because I tell you what, if you get too consumed and caught up in everything that is going on, like I did temporarily, I can't, I'm not going to lie to you all. I was caught up in it, watching the news too much. But guess what? Let's get back to the main thing. The main thing is Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ is the answer. Jesus Christ is the answer to what is going on in the world today. Because if you get consumed with it, your mind won't be anchored in Jesus. I'm reminded that, you know, even I'm going through right now, I promise you, we are all going through. I am not the exception to the rule. You are not the exception to the rule. We are all going through it. I'm living it. I'm witnessing it. 
I'm living what's going on. I am witnessing what's going on. I am living it on a daily basis. I see it. I hear it. I watch it. But the thing is, we cannot get consumed with it. We have to keep our mind stayed and focused and centered on Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He's the healer, healer, healer. My beautiful souls, you have to focus on Jesus and know that you've got the victory. You know what? Don't get consumed with what's going on. I promise you, I almost slipped. Oops. Right. I almost slipped and got consumed with what's going on, but I only watch the news that I can stay abreast. So I may stay abreast and be informed. But guess what? Jesus is the answer for the world today because there is no other. Jesus is the answer for the world today, my beautiful souls, and realize that you have the victory. I am reminded of 1 John 4 and 4. You have to stay focused on Jesus. You belong to Jesus, my dear children. Let me tell you something. God, when he created, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And in the beginning, when God created you, me, all of us, his children, when he created us, he said, when I created you, I created you in my image. So therefore you are something good. You dear, you dear children, I'm at 1 John 4 and 4. You dear, you dear children, Betty, calm down, because I am, I am excited today, my beautiful souls, because I want your mind to be anchored in Jesus during this time. There's a lot going on. Even when I was out um, meditating and reflecting, releasing and relaxing, I said to myself, when I think about my story, don't you know that there are so many people in the graveyard today because of stress, depression, and anxiety? And I thought about that. I said, you know what, Betty, there are people in the graveyard because of stress, depression, and anxiety. And you know why? Because stress, depression, and anxiety can, lo can lead to suicide, which I, I tried to do three times. Stress, depression, and anxiety can, lo can lead to suicide because you're not clothed in your right mind. Because if your soul, your mind, and your body, if you are not anchored in Jesus, you will surely, surely slip away. You can Your mind can slip away to the point of stress, depression, and anxiety, and you attempt suicide, and it may work. Lord, we don't want that to happen, but I'm telling you, I attempt to suicide three times because my mind wasn't right. Your your mind, your body, and soul, everything has to be anchored in Jesus because if not, you will surely, surely slip away. I am a living witness of that. But by the grace of God, I called on God. I said, God, if you get me out of this stress, depression, and anxiety, I will never, ever be full of stress, depression, and anxiety ever again. It just won't work. Don't you know there are people out there trying to inflict stress, depression, and anxiety upon on you. Don't let it happen during these times. These times we are living in some times, I tell you what, it, but God is not an altar of confusion. You belong to God. This is a time where you have to understand and recognize whose you are and who you are. You are a child of the most high God. You belong to God. He will lead God direct and protect you no matter what. I'm reminded of 1 John 4 and 4. You, dear children, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. You belong to God, my dear children. You belong to God, my beautiful souls. Let me tell you something. What doesn't kill you is going to make you stronger. And I realize between the coronavirus, between all of this rioting, all of these statues being torn down, keep your mind stayed on Jesus. Focus, focus, focus on Jesus. Like I said, I had to come back. Don't you know that these trials and tribulations only come to make you strong? Don't fall into the enemy's trap. Don't fall into the enemy's trap. Trials and tribulations only come to make you stronger. Like I tell you all sometimes, I may not understand your situation. I may not understand what you are going through. There are some of you out there that you may not have your job right now, but guess what? Don't you know that God is going to open a bigger and wider door for you on that next job? There are people hiring. You're going to be blessed with a new job because I'm telling you what God has blessed, no man can curse. He's going to lead God direct and protect you. He is a provider. He is a provider going through all of this right now 
Let me tell you something. This is a sign of the time. This is a sign of the end of the end of the world. This is the time of Matthew 24. But no man knows and no man can predict. But I'm telling you, there is too much going on right now. You all better get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, and get your mind anchored in Jesus because I'm telling you, the writing is all over the wall. There's a ball of confusion going on. And you must understand that God is not an author of confusion. Please like and share. God is not of confusion. You have to keep your mind stayed anchored in Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. And one thing you must understand is that these trials and tribulations only come to make you stronger. What is that one song? What doesn't kill you make you stronger. Hold on a little longer. Hold on. Hold on. Help is on the way. And that help is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You cannot look to anybody else for help. You can't do it. Lean on God. Lean in on God. Lean on God and make sure that your mind stays anchored in Jesus. I'm telling you, there was a time when I didn't have my mind. And there is, we are in these times, it's dark right now, my beautiful souls. I'm telling you, it's dark right now, my beautiful souls. Please like and share. But you must understand and realize you are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. Why? Because you are a child of the Most High God. And if you don't believe that you are a child of the Most High God, I am telling you that you are a child of the Most High God. And I'm telling you that it's time to come to him. My beautiful souls, now is the time to come to Jesus. It's too much going on. There's a lot going on. And it's, 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 it's a ball of confusion. But our God is not an author of confusion. He is not a God that he should lie. It's time for peace that surpasses all understanding. It's time for peace that surpasses all understanding. And where does that peace come from? It comes from doing that inner work that I talk about all the time. You must have peace of mind during this time, not peace of chaos. God is not an author of confusion. Your mind should not be full of chaos. Release it all. Release these dark moments. Release these dark days. Release it all. Release it. Get your mind anchored in Jesus. Because if you don't, it will surely, surely drift away. You're an overcomer. I'm reminded of Isaiah 28. And I'm reminded the trials and tribulations only come to make you stronger. Pardon me. I'm going to Psalms 42, 11, my beautiful souls. Now is the time to lean in on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is first and foremost in my life. My beautiful souls, protect your mind by any means necessary. Protect your mind. I don't care what we may be going through day by day by day by day, but I'm getting ready to tell you the little Hitlers are still out there. The Satans are still out there. Your enemy is still out there. There's a lot going on and on top of everything that is going on in this dark world right now your enemy is still out there trying to attack your mind as well i'm trying to tell you with all the darkness that is going on remember i tell you all i have childlike faith this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let your light so shine before men that they may know that jesus christ that is in your mind, okay? You have to have Jesus in your mind. Your mind must be anchored in Jesus during this time because if not, you're going to slip. You're going to slip. And that's what the enemy wants during this time. Remember I told you, your mind is your most precious commodity. And that's where Satan comes at first. He can't attack your mind because it must be anchored in Jesus. I am reminded of Psalms 42 and 11. Hallelujah, Lord. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within? me. Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Put your hope in God during this time. There is still hope, hope, hope. I remember a cousin of mine when we were coming up, she used to say, keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive, my beautiful souls. Keep hope alive. Do not be downcast. Know your source. Jesus Christ is your source. Hallelujah, Lord. Know your source. Don't be downcast during this time. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Don't be downcast, my beautiful souls. Because if you go, if, if you get downcast, don't you know the enemy is watching you? I'm telling you, the enemy is watching. Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God. 
for I will yet praise him more and more. Praise the Lord during this time. You have to learn to praise the Lord during this time because let me tell you something. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. And remember, you are truly blessed and highly favored of the Lord. What God has blessed, no man can curse. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. That's why witches can't hex you. That's why the enemy can't take you down. That's why you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I remember the other day when I went to work and I forgot my wallet because I went to visit my daughters. And when I got home that night, I just simply threw my wallet in the corner and I said, I'll get it in the morning and put it back in my purse in the morning. Well, when I went to work, it was time for me to go to lunch. And I said, oh, my, I, I wanted to get a snack. And I said, oh, my God, my wallet is at home on the floor where I tossed it last night, trying to toss it into my purse. And then one of my co-workers, and I said, oh, I guess I better go on ahead and get my, pardon me. I said, I better go on home and get my wallet. And then one of my co-workers said, well, you better make sure you don't get pulled over. I said, uh-uh, hold up, wait a minute. I am covered by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I am covered by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that's one thing you all have to remember. I remember watching my spiritual daddy, Bishop T.D. Jakes, on, on the TBN network. And he said, you know, just like that old gospel song that I had, Jesus storm out in the ocean, and it's moving this away. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Your soul is your mind. So I say that with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because my spiritual daddy, Bishop T.D. Jake, said we have all, some of us have forgotten about the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Just like that song. That was an old school. That was an old school. That's what, when I came up in the church, that was the old school. If your soul's not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Don't drift away. I'm telling you, the blood, you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Satan can't get you. He, she, they, them. They can't touch you. You are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are anointed. You are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any and everything that may try to come up against you, plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and make sure that your mind, your most precious commodity is anchored in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm also reminded of, let me tell you something. You are an overcomer. Hallelujah, Lord. You must realize that you are an overcomer in spite of what's going on today. It is crazy out here, my beautiful souls. We all know this. It's crazy. And I, I don't want to play the race card. I don't. I really truly don't. I don't want to play the race card. Let's play the Jesus card. Let's play the Jesus card. Pray for one another. Love one another. Now, some people, it's hard to love. So that's where you have to turn the other cheek. I'm telling you, sometimes you have to turn the other cheek. Forgive, let go, and let God, and let them be who they are, what they do, whatever, whatever, whatever. But you must know that you are an overcomer. I'm reminded of Isaiah 28, 16. Don't you know that you are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who loves you? You are an overcomer. Witches can't hex you. Satan can't touch you. Those little Hitlers, they can't do nothing to you. They may try. You are a child of the Most High God. Your mind must be anchored in Jesus. Because I tell you all, all the time, what's the first thing that the enemy comes from? Comes for your mind is your most precious commodity. Protected by any means necessary. You are an overcomer. I'm reminded of Isaiah 28 and 16, my beautiful souls. I love you. I love you. You fathers out there, enjoy your happy Father's Day. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Continue to be the man that God has blessed and made you to be during this time. Do not fear. My fathers, please don't fear. Hallelujah, Lord. I'm reminded of Isaiah 28 and 16. So this is this is the meat of what I'm telling you about today. Is your mind anchored in Jesus? Please like and share. So this is what the sovereign Lord says. See, I lay a stone in Zion. Don't you know that we are daughters and sons of Zion? See, this is Isaiah talking. So this is what the sovereign Lord says. King Jesus said. See, the Father God, this is daddy talking. This is daddy talking. See, I lay a stone in Zion, a tested stone. Do you all know who that stone is? 
Do you know the rock? A precious cornerstone. Precious, precious Lord. We're talking about Jesus. The rock. The solid rock. The solid foundation on which we stand. See? See? I lay a stone in Zion. A tested stone. A precious, precious cornerstone for a sure foundation. Jesus Christ is a sure foundation. The one who relies on it will never be stricken with panic. I'm reminded of what co-worker I had in the past. Don't panic. This is not the Titanic, my beautiful souls. Your mind must be your mind must be anchored in Jesus during this time, or you're going to drift away. Stay tuned with your mind, your most precious commodity, and know this. You are too blessed to be stressed. You're too anointed to be disappointed. You are too equipped to be whipped in Jesus' powerful, resurrected name because of the precious, precious blood of the Lamb. Your mind is your most precious commodity. Sons and daughters of Zion, thus says the sovereign Lord, precious, precious Lord. See, I lay a stone in Zion, a tested stone, a tested stone. They tested the stone, Jesus Christ, the tested stone. They tested him to the cross. But he said, hold up, wait a minute, I will be back. I'll be back. <laughs> he said, I'll be back within three days. They tested him to the point of the cross. Look what they did to Jesus Christ. Look what they did to Jesus Christ. The te they tested him. They tested him. A precious cornerstone for a sure foundation. The one who relies on it will never be stricken with panic. Rely on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Stay anchored in Jesus. Stay anchored on the rock, the solid foundation. Stay anchored on the rock, the rock, the rock. There's no other rock I know. My beautiful souls, I have a rock out there in my yard. And when I'm on my lawn, if I need to sit down and take a break, I sit on the rock. It's the, and I sit there and I say, on Jesus Christ, the solid rock, I stand. Are you standing on that solid rock? Is your mind anchored on that solid rock? Get your mind right because, like I said, the little Hitlers are still out there. Satan is out there. They can't curse you, though. You're truly blessed and highly favored of the Lord. You are truly blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Your mind is anchored in Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And if you don't believe that you are blessed and highly favored of the Lord, go to Deuteronomy 28. Go to Deuteronomy 28 so that you can understand and know that your mind is your most precious commodity. Your mind is anchored in Jesus. You belong to God during this time. There's a lot going on, my beautiful souls. I repeat that. There's a lot going on, my beautiful souls. Don't get caught up in it. Don't get caught up in it. Stay on the rock. You are daughters and sons of Zion. Stay on that solid foundation. Stay on the rock. On Jesus Christ, on Jesus Christ, on Jesus Christ, the solid rock, you shall stand. Stay anchored in the rock, Jesus. You're an overcomer. You're more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who loves you. And please be mindful, my beautiful souls. The battle is not ours, but the Lord. The battle is not ours, but the Lord. I'm reminded of my book, Power Thoughts Renewing the Mind, page 22. The battle is not ours, my beautiful soul. The battle is not ours. It is the Lord's. Don't you know that life is not a cakewalk? It is a battle, my beautiful souls. It's a battle. There's a battle going on right now. But the, there is a battle going on right now, my beautiful souls. And I don't want to get I don't want to get caught up in what's going on in the world today. I don't. Like I said, I, I see it just so I can stay abreast. But the enemy is real. Satan is real. He, she, they, they are real. They don't want to see you prosper. But guess what? What God has blessed, no man can curse. Hallelujah. Don't let your mind drift away. Because if you, if there is a storm, there's a storm, my beautiful soul. There's a storm out on the ocean and it's moving this away. But if your mind is not drifted, if you're not, if your mind is not anchored in Jesus, Lord, I get so excited. I was, I was in my mind so much getting ready for you beautiful souls today. Please like and share. Please like and share. But I'm telling you, if your mind is not anchored in Jesus, you're going to get consumed with everything that's going on. But remember, our God is not an author of confusion. Look to the rock. Look to the rock. Hallelujah, Lord. 
Don't you know that life will take us through some changes and battles? We are going through some changes and battles right now, my beautiful soul. I'm going through changes and battles, but I know whose I am, and I know who I am. You must know who you are during this time, because these changes and battles, they don't belong to us. They belong to the Lord. He will keep you in a perfect peace. Those whose mind is stayed on him. We are going through some changes and battles right now, my beautiful soul. But we must stay strong and endure to the end. Endure to the end. God is not a God that he shall lie. He's the rock. He's the foundation. Stand on him. There truly is light at the end of the tunnel. To those of you that, you know, you may not be working at this time, trust and believe. God is getting ready to bless you with a job right now. There are so many jobs out here. Hold on. Help is on the way. Precious, precious Lord is going to take care of you. Know your source on this time. And you have to equip your mind. Hallelujah, Lord. Equip your mind. You know what? I was telling somebody the other day. I have mental toughness. And I, was, I posted last week. Let's start a conversation about mental toughness. If you don't have mental toughness, those little Hitlers are going to continue to play their silly kindergarten games. They're going to play mind games with you. And if you don't have mental toughness, you will surely, your mind will surely, surely drift away. You have to equip your mind to be very strong and powerful to cope with the changes and battles that come our way on a daily basis. Hallelujah, Lord. Don't you know that life is not a cakewalk? It's a battlefield. And only the strong in mind will survive. That's why it's imperative to have thick skin, to face the fiery darts. Lord have mercy, Jesus. I've been getting some fiery darts. But guess what? You have When those fiery darts come, know that you have the breastplate and you have the armor of God. And your mind is anchored in Jesus. So those fire dart, those, those fiery darts, they have to what? Guess what they have to do? They have to turn around. Turn around and backfire on the person that intended to do you evil, nasty, wicked, and ugly. Don't you know that life is not a cakewalk, it's a battlefield, and only the stronger mind will survive. You must have mental toughness during this time, my beautiful souls. You are strong in mind. Only the stronger mind will survive. Your mind is your most precious commodity. Keep it anchored in Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. That's why it's imperative to have thick skin, to face the fiery darts that will come our way as they don't stop. The fiery darts don't stop. And neither does Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. They come to see how strong we are and if we can survive the test. My book, Power Thoughts Renewing the Mind, on page 22. Don't you know that life will take us through some changes and battles? We must stay strong and endure to the end. There truly is light at the end of the tunnel. Equip your mind, your most precious commodity, to be very strong and powerful, powerful mind, to cope with the changes and battles that come our way. Don't you know that life is not a cakewalk? It's a battlefield. And only the strong in mind will survive mental toughness, mental toughness. That's why it's imperative to have thick skin to face the fiery darts that will come your way. They don't stop. They come to see how strong we are and if we can survive the test. There's a test going on, my beautiful souls. There's a test going on in this dark world at this time. But only the strong in mind will survive. Only those with mental toughness will survive. Only those that have their mind anchored in Jesus Christ will survive. Only them that stand on the solid rock, the foundation, will survive. There's a storm out on the ocean and it's drifting this way. But your mind is anchored in Jesus. And you can't slip away. Hallelujah, Lord. Don't you know that Jesus is the anchor of our souls? Jesus is the anchor of our souls and minds. And you have to stay steadfast and immovable during this time. Please like and share. Don't you know that I keep mentioning to you all, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah, Lord. There's a lot going on, my beautiful soul. In 2020, imagine that. There is a lot going on, my beautiful souls. I feel it. I'm emotional during this time, but I'm going to continue in my love walk, continue in your love walk, continue doing that inner work, continue in your love walk, continue in doing your inner work, continue being the best version of you, continue being you. Don't let the devil steal your joy. You're going to have to shake, 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 shake the devil off, 
Shake, 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 shake the devil off. Shake, 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 shake the devil off. In the name of Jesus, shake the devil off, my beautiful souls. We are living in some trying times, my beautiful souls. Like I said at the top, I know it. I feel it. I live it. I see it. I hear it. And this is why I run to Jesus. We have to run to Jesus during this time and keep your mind anchored in Jesus. My beautiful souls, let me let me let me end this with the serenity prayer for you. The serenity prayer. That's the only thing that's going to get us through this is our serenity prayer as well. I have it right here on my window. I read it every day because God is good to me. God is good to me. He's good to you. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Don't let the enemy fear fear you. Don't let the enemy try to throw you off your game. Don't let the enemy, you know, attack your most precious commodity. Just, just, just stay prayed up. Hallelujah, Lord. Stay prayed up. You know, don't let your faith wave. Don't let your faith waver. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thy own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him. Like my granddaughter said to me one time when we were cooking, she said, you know what, Grammy? All God wants us to do is acknowledge him. And that's it. She, it's just that simple. Acknowledge him. And he will and he shall and he must direct your path. Precious, precious Lord, please grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change. Courage to change the things that we can. And wisdom to know the difference. And wisdom to know the difference. Act wisely, my beautiful souls, during this time. And wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time. Enjoying one moment at a time. Accepting hardships as the pathway to peace that surpasses all understanding. Taken as Jesus did, this sinful world as it is, not as we would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if we surrender to his will, that we may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. My beautiful souls, please keep your mind anchored in Jesus. I'm getting ready to go do some grocery shopping. I hate grocery shopping, but my beautiful souls, I love you. I love you. I love you. Keep your mind anchored in Jesus. Do not waver in your faith for God is not a man that he should lie. You are his most precious child. You are, you belong to God. You must know who you are and who you are. You are a child of the most high God. And since you are, since you are a child of the most high God, that makes you a royal, 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 royal priesthood. I love you. God loves you. Remember our two taglines, uh, human behavior, the psychology of life. So you can teach people how to treat you. Um, you know, you, you must teach people how to treat you. Those mean Roman soldiers, those same mean Ro Roman soldiers that came at Jesus Christ, those those same um, mean old Roman soldiers, they are still out there, but you have to protect yourself. Stay covered by the blood of the lamb and you're too blessed to be stressed. You're too anointed to be disappointed. You are surely too equipped to be whipped in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Your mind is your most precious commodity. It truly is. I love you. God loves you. I will see you on Wednesday if it be the Lord's will. I love you. Thanks for stopping by the healing house where there is healing for your mind, your body, and your soul. I got so excited because I want you all to know that your mind must stay anchored in Jesus. I keep mine anchored in Jesus. That's why the enemy can't get me because my mind is my, is my most precious commodity. I have mental toughness simply because let me tell you all something. If God delivers you from something, you are delivered. You are whole. You are healed. And I am whole in my mind. He delivered me from stress, depression, and anxiety. I was sick as I could be back in 1994. So why would I let the enemy in my mind? You can't let the enemy in your head. Your mind is your most precious commodity. And remember, I talked about that mental toughness. There's a lot going on, my beautiful souls. There is so much going on. There really is a lot going on, but you have to... Stand firm on that solid rock, that foundation, because you, we are sons and daughters of Zion. Stand on the rock, the solid rock, and your mind is anchored in Jesus. 
It is now. Thank you for stopping by the Healing House, where there's healing for your mind, your body, and your soul. Again, my name is Betty Riddick. I am your healing minister. I offer hope in a dark world where people believe they can't be delivered from stress, depression, and anxiety like I was. There is hope, my beautiful souls. Keep hope alive during this time. There is hope. Okay? There is hope. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to your own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him, him, the solid rock, the solid foundation, and he will and shall and must direct your paths. I love you. Thank you for watching. Please like and share because we are living in some trying times and I just want to keep hope alive. Send the message of hope. God loves you and I love you. Continue in your already blessed and stress-free Sunday. And again, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there.